Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can install and run Nginx server over EC2 instance of AWS running with Linux AMI. After the launch of EC2 instance, we will run some bash script to install the Nginx server and later on we will also run some application that is basic HTML application over the server. So let's start. For this first step is to launch your EC2 instance. So just click on the EC2. Launch instance. And here you need to provide the name. Let's give it a, a name as Nginx web. Select the AMI. Here I am selecting Amazon Linux AMI. If you are selecting any other AMI, then you need to run different type of command. So here we are going with Linux AMI only. Next task is to select the instance type where we are selecting the t2.micro. Next we require key pair login if we want to connect with our instance through SSH client. And next thing, auto assign public IP should be enabled. As we have to launch some application, static application with our instance, so we also need to allow HTTP traffic for our security group. It is going to create a new security group with name launch wizard 12 as we are not selecting any existing group. So you can also select your existing group if it has the same setting or same inbound set of rules. Next task is to launch your instance because we are not changing any other detail. So simply launch your instance. After the launch select your instance. The state is pending and we can check the detail by the time. This is IPv4 address of my instance and this is private IPv4 address. If you want to go with all the details, you can watch the previous video where we have discussed in detail regarding the VPC, DNS, security groups, etc. So here the instance state is running now. So we are good to go with the installation of Nginx server. So simply click on connect. And this time we are selecting EC2 instance connect. You can also use SSH connect through command prompt as we have discussed in previous videos. So this time only the EC2 instance connect and click connect. Now we need to acquire the root user's permission. So for that we need to run the command sudo su. So now we are having the access of root user. Next we need to run the update of operating system. For that we have yum update. Why? And the update is done. Next task is to start the installation. And for that we have the command yum install. Next. We'll ask for the confirmation and just click Y. The installation going on and the installation is complete now. Here we just run the command install nginx. After installation we need to start the service and for that we have service nginx start. It is redirecting to slash bin slash systemctl start nginx dot service. You can also go with systemctl start nginx. So both commands are okay. You can also use systemctl start nginx or service nginx start. Both commands will work the same way. And next task is to enable your nginx server. And before enabling, let's check the status of your nginx server. And for that we have command systemctl status nginx dot service command will provide you the status current status of nginx server with your ec2 instance here we can see the service is active and running but the nginx service status is disabled because we have installed the service we have started the service 
but we have not enabled the service that's why the status is disabled but the service is up and running so now to enable the service we need to write another command that is system ctl enable and now the service is enabled as well so let's check the status of service again system ctl status nginx dot service this time the status is active and running and also the system ctl status of service is enabled you can check here we are getting enabled so the service has started and the service has also enabled by the server you can to check the status by running the public ip of your ec2 instance so simply copy your public ip and go to a new tab in the public ip get the default page of nginx server because the server is installed with your ec2 instance so it is giving the default page because nothing else is installed on your server so let's try to upload or uh, run some static application with your server and and for that we will create a static page like we had done with the apache server and the command is same echo simply we are creating one heading tag within one html page h2 simple one heading tag that we are going to run for our index.html now we need to redirect this output to the index.html and this time we are having a different path for index.html and that is starting with the user folder user next folder is share and next folder is nginx last folder is html under html we have the index.html to run index.html so this heading hello techie this is nginx page will be stored in this path user slash shares slash nginx slash html slash index.html so just click on this command now our index.html or our static application has been created so let's refresh the page where our application was running with the default in nginx page so here we have the default page for nginx service so let's refresh it now and this time we are getting our new page because we are running some application static application in the form of index.html over our nginx server so that's it for this video hope you have learned something see you in the next video till then bye and take care